Hey, what's up guys, Harris here, and today we're taking a look at my top 25 favorite iOS 8 jailbreak tweaks. These are all tweaks that I use on a regular basis, are compatible with iOS 8 and below, and all iPhones, iPods, and also I believe all iPads. Let's go ahead and take a look in no particular order. Starting out, we have PowerTap. Now, PowerTap is a very simple tweak. It works when you hold down the power button on your phone or whatever device you are using, and now you get the options to either power down, restart, respring, or put your device into safe mode, so it's very simple and effective. Number two is dock shift. Now this is very simple, it allows you to change your dock, uh, the appearance of it. This is one of my favorite tweaks for customization. I always have it as transparent so I can see the design of my wallpaper better, but you can also change it as kind of milkier, darker, or whatever you want. So dock shift is a great way to change your dock. Coming in at number 3 is Status HUD or Status HUD2. This is a free tweak that simply moves the volume indicators to the status bar. I find this very convenient to get rid of the obtrusive volume button indicators. Coming in at number 4 is a very effective tool if you're up late at night or trying to get away with texting in class. And this is called Dimmer. Dimmer lets you get your phone brightness uh, to below what normally is the minimum. And this is an awesome tweak to do that if you're just trying to get a very dim screen. And it works to the point that it's almost hard to see at nighttime. Coming at number 5 is Cylinder. Now Cylinder is uh, basically Barrel, which was out and very popular before. But it gives you tons of transitions and animations on your home screen that are very smooth and fluid and it's a really cool tweak that is free and also works inside of the folders which is pretty cool. Coming in at number 6 is a way to customize your control center. This is CC settings for iOS 8, a free tweak that basically allows you to add custom toggles to your control center. So it's a very simple tweak that works very well and gives you a lot of customization for your control center. Now coming in at number 7 is another tweak to customize Control Center, and this is called CC Background, a free tweak that allows you to customize the background of Control Center so that you can get your Spongebob on, or whatever else you want as your background. Number 8 is a cool way to customize your notification badges on your apps, and this is called Blurry Badges, which is free. Now this tweak very simply allows you to change the look and the style of the notification badges, which are just the numbers on the corner of the apps with notifications, so this is a simple tweak that works well. Now coming at number 9 is the Swiss Army Knife of all tweaks. This is Spring Demise 3. Now for $3, or you can get it for free through some repos, this is a tweak that I definitely think is worth the $3 spent. It allows you to customize pretty much every single aspect of your phone, uh, and it's just a really awesome tweak to change almost everything, so you should really go through and dig around and customize your phone to your liking. Coming in at number 10 is a very popular one, this is called Flux or F.Lux, and this allows you to change the temperature of your screen, so if you have it at night, you can have it a little bit dimmer or just not as bright to make it easier on the eyes. Number 11 is another classic, this is one that everybody probably has, but I had to include it on here anyway. This is Winterboard, and this is what you use to control your themes, to enable or disable themes. As you can see, I have Flat 7 installed here, and it makes all of my icons round as well as redesigning some of them, so Winterboard is a must-have. Number 12 is Zeppelin. Now, Zeppelin is another classic. It allows you to change that little cloud that you see up there, or basically allows you to add custom logos uh, instead of your carrier, so it's a really cool tweak uh, that allows you to add custom logos to your status bar that works really well. It's free, and you can install more in Cydia. Coming at number 13 is Bitafont 2, which I don't think it is as popular as it should be. This is a tweak that allows you to completely control the font of your entire UI and device. You just choose a font and it will show up in every aspect of your device, from the keyboard to the settings to the different apps. Number 14 is a utility for people that move their apps a lot. This is called Multi-Icon Mover, and if you select multiple apps, you can go ahead and move to a different screen, press the home button, and they will follow just like that. Number 15 is a very cool keyboard tweak, and this is called Showcase. This basically allows you to reflect the characters, whether you're in uh, capital or lowercase mode when you're typing, so it's very easy to see and there's no confusion. Number 16 is another awesome keyboard tweak, and this is the ones I can't really live without. This is called Swipe Selection. So no longer do you have to use that stupid bubble. You can go ahead and swipe across the keyboard to move the cursor. You can also use the Shift button if you want to highlight text. So Swipe Selection is one of my favorites. Number 17 is an awesome one, and this allows you to prevent yourself from sending typos. So if you have any errors in grammar or any spelling errors, it won't let you send it until you fix it. 
Number 18 is a feature that takes what was brought with iOS 8, the untethered Siri, uh, just saying, hey Siri, to activate it, but it allows you to do it anytime, not just when you're charging. So this is something really simple, but it works really well, and I definitely like untethered hey Siri. Number 19 is definitely one of those tweaks that uh, really changes the way you think about jailbreaking and using your phone. This is called Reach App. So instead of using Reach Ability when you double press the home button uh, or the Touch ID button lightly, this now gives you true multitasking with your two most recent apps, and this is awesome. So for instance, if you're in Twitter, you just double tap it very lightly, and it'll pull up your second most recent app for true multitasking, and you can resize it, and it works flawlessly, well, usually flawlessly, and this is an awesome tweak. Number 20 is Color Your Keyboard 8 with a 0, and this very simply allows you to change the color of the stock keyboard on iOS 8 to pretty much any color you like, and this is awesome. 21 is another classic, and this is Activator. Activator just allows you to set shortcuts to basically any action that you want. For instance, I have it set to open my camera with a double tap of the power button. So Activator is a very cool tool to get and use. 22 is OXO3. Now OXO3 is pretty popular. It reimagines control center and multitasking. It also combines it. As you can see, if you swipe up from the bottom, you get both the control center and the multitasking. And there's also an option that if you swipe up from the bottom left hand corner, you get a quick switch view between all your apps so you can quickly choose. And once you're inside the application, a quick swipe from the bottom right hand corner will close the app so you don't even have to use your home button anymore. 23 is a tweak for you music lovers, and it's this little guy hiding over here. This is called Mini Player. Now, Mini Player is a pretty cool tweak that gives you some music control capabilities. Not only does it give you the music that's playing, but it allows you to search right within the tweak without even needing to go to uh, your music app. You can also change the theme to black and white, and then you can make it go away and kind of hide in a corner. And then, of course, you also have your standard music controls to go with it. So, this is a great tweak for music lovers. 24 is a very simple one. This is just called Lock Lift. Uh, basically, that's all it does is give you a cool animation for Touch ID, which I just personally really like. I think it looks cool. And finally, rounding up this list for 25 is Bio Lockdown, another Touch ID tweak. This allows you to lock your applications with either your fingerprint if you have Touch ID or with a passcode. So those are my 25 favorite and top tweaks of 2015 for my iPhone, all ones I use on a regular basis. If you guys have any others, let me know because I'm always interested in more and maybe I can update this video. And if you did like this video, make sure you show me by hitting that like button and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.